Hey everybody, just trying to give a aquarium update. Had the tank running for a year and a couple months now. Um, probably have about 13 or so fish. So, that orangish one right there, that's a Midas Blenny. This one um, with the yellow fin, black face, is a magnificent fox face rabbit fish. Um, so those fish in the back that have the black stripe and then kind of like the polka dots on the tail, those are pajama cardinal fish. I have four of those. That red one is a flame hawkfish. The yellow one is a yellow tang. The brown tang that looks just like it is a scopus tang. I have two clownfish. There's one of them and the other one is in the back. They kind of, clownfish kind of just find a spot when you put them in the tank and then kind of just stick to the area their whole lives. So they just kind of come out of the back area when they think they're gonna get fed. And then I have that uh, purple and yellow fish in the back. Can't remember, can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but got that a couple months ago. Um, what else? Have an Ebly angel fish. Somewhere I think it's hiding in the rocks. Yeah, it's right there actually. So it's got the black fin and then kind of like the yellow and white stripes right there. Just coming out because it thinks it's gonna get fed. And then have this shrimp right there. It's a cleaner shrimp. And there's also a few um, anemone crabs. I'm trying to find one right now. I think they may be hiding. Yeah, I don't see any at the moment, but there should be three of them in here. Um, another thing I have is some peppermint shrimp, but those are nocturnal. They only come out at night. And then of course, like a ton of snails. And I only put a few snails in here, but then they reproduce so much, which is good because there's not really much algae in here at all. Just the purple coralline algae, which you kind of want in a way. It's a sign of a healthy tank. Um, like months ago, it actually covered the whole, like most of the back but it started like chipping off and then I kind of just removed a lot of it manually um, another thing I have is a bunch of bubble tip anemones so there's probably like nine of those in here at the moment and also the colorful ones that are a little bit smaller are rock flower anemones and I have somewhere between 20 and 30 of them. So there's a bunch on that part of the rock. And then they, they kind of like go in a lot of the nooks and crannies. So sometimes they're hard to see. So there's a bunch right there. And then some of them like move out of the light completely. So I don't know if the light's too strong or if they just don't like the flow in those areas. This coral, this is actually a coral right here. It's green star polyps. I have a, a few zoanthids in here, but they don't do all that well because I have, oh, that's some other fish that I have, diamond gobies. Those white fish that are in the back, uh, there's two of them, if you can see in the back there. But what they do, they're sand sifting, so they clean the sand, which is good, but also they dump sand all over everything. So I had zoanthids on this rock and then they constantly dump sand all over them and it bothers them. So they're not as colored as they sh colorful as they should be. I'm surprised that they're still living, but they're still kind of hanging in there. Have a torch coral right there. And then there's some other like overgrown coral that I'm gonna get rid of. Cause it just grows like a weed. So I want to get rid of it before it's invasive. There's a diamond goby. As you can see, it just takes a mouthful of sand all the time. And then every night, 
they go under that rock. They like make a little home under there every single night. So before the lights go off, they just kind of like pile sand on top of that every single night and make a little home and then stay in there all night. Every single day they do that. Oh, and then there's a tube anemone in the back. That's pretty cool. Um, and that green thing, kind of in back of those like invasive corals. Um, that's a hammer coral. Had that for a while, it grew a little bit. Yeah, it actually grew quite a bit since I got it. That's it right there. So it should be interesting because I'm about to go to Disney World for nine days and I try to automate it everything so I don't have to worry about it. So I have every like certain chemicals being dosed multiple times a day and I have an automatic feeder that I can control with my phone as well. So every day when I'm at Disney World, I just gotta hit a button and then it'll feed the fish. So hopefully everything's gonna be alive when I come back. So I'll be disappointed. I did have one fish, it was a Melanaris wrasse that passed away maybe like a month or two ago. And the fish is healthy, but for a while it was swimming around with like an open jaw. So I'm wondering if it bit um, like a bristle worm or something like that. And then just never recovered from it. But the fish is healthy. And even, even when his mouth is open, it was trying to eat. So I don't know how it died, but that's the thing I noticed well before it passed away is that it would just swimming around with its jaw open all the time. Never shut its jaw. But I would like another one of those, so. At least another rasp, but I like Melanaris, so. Probably go with the same thing. But anyways. Hope you guys like it. And I'll make another video in like a month or so. All right, talk to you later.